Imagine you are in the 1930s and you open a newspaper to participate in the most fun game of the week, the beauty contest. The game works as follows. You pick the prettiest person in the pack of 100 and if the majority chooses your option, you are entered for a cash prize. Well, John Maynard Keynes also loved this game and used it as an analogy to show us that humans operate on different levels. Some might choose the face that they find the prettiest, others might choose the face that they think other people find the prettiest, and even some people would pick the face that they think other people think other people find the prettiest, and so on and so forth. Another example with higher stakes is from the BBC series Sherlock. Here the man himself is in a confrontation with another man who has two pills. One that contains a deadly poison and the other that is just a placebo. He gives one to Sherlock and says that this is his move. If you put yourself in Sherlock's shoes, you might think that he would never give himself a poisonous pill, so I should switch. But he might be anticipating that, so I shouldn't. But he might be expecting that I'm expecting that and ah, uh, you can see how this can be frustrating. The biggest application of this is the two-thirds average game. In this game you are sitting in a room with let's say 49 other people. All of you are given the task to choose a number from 1 to 100. Also, they announce that the people who get two-thirds of the average of the numbers chosen gets a huge reward. If people would choose randomly, or like a zero level thinker, the average would be around 50. So the winner would be the closest to 50 times two-thirds, which is 33, right? So if I were a first level thinker, we would choose this answer. But we anticipate this, so we imagine that every thinker is a first level thinker. Then every other participant would pick 33, so anticipating this, we would pick 22 and snatch the cash prize. If this process continues onto a third, fourth or even an infinite number level, you would reach an average of zero. This is called a Nash equilibrium, because no one can gain anything from deviating from their pick. But in reality, this is not the case at all. In this graph, we can observe first level thinkers, second level thinkers, third level thinkers and infinite level thinkers. From this, we can conclude that humans in this experiment are not completely rational and did not reach the Nash equilibrium. This shows us that game theory is just theory and we can't trust it to predict outcomes for us, because humans are sometimes more complicated than we think. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching.